Welcome to What The Fick, the spot for fixed income, commodities, and currencies. My name is Ian Cully, and today, let's talk bonds. There's a lot of doom and gloom out there, right? There's a lot of headlines pushing this imminent recession, egg prices through the roof. But when I look to the largest market in the world, the bond market, I'm getting a completely different message. Let's check it out. Here we have option adjusted high yield credit spreads. Now, if bond market was under stress, even if risk assets were under stress, these lines would be going up and to the right. Notice back in 2020, rippers, right? World was coming to an end. But then remember, remember how well stocks did following into the peaks in 2021? Hey, we're back there. I wouldn't say we're, we're back there, but we're, we're at a point where they're starting to turn lower again, right? Contracting credit spreads are what we see when investors are taking on risk, not vice versa. So might argue, hey, Ian, it isn't about corporate debt this time around. It's different. It's about sovereign debt. European sovereign spreads. It's the same picture. Fresh lows turning lower, not catching higher, right? Not expanding. These spreads are contracting. That is risk on, right? This is bullish, not only for bond markets around the world, but it's also bullish for global risk assets. And what's funny is when we look even at emerging markets, it's the same picture, right? Option adjusted EM high yield credit spreads contracting to levels not seen since September 2021. There's nothing bearish about that. It's quite the opposite. So while, you know, media sources, whatever they might be for you, are pushing this doom and gloom narrative that the bear market, recession, stocks only go down now. It's just not the case. That's not what I'm seeing when I look at the largest markets in the world. There's something to think about. If you enjoyed this video, click the link below, read the article. If you have any questions, please reach out to Info at All Star Charts, and you can always follow along at Ian Cully on Twitter. Thanks for watching. I'll see you tomorrow.